solar screw pump. Well, water shortage protection introduction. Step 1. Press the on button to run the pump. When the water level in the well exceeds the float, the float rises and the pump works normally. Step 2. When the water level in the well drops and is lower than the float, the float falls. Well light turns on. The screen displays fault code E12. The pump stops working. The screen cyclically displays the fault code E12, voltage, and recovery time. Step 3. When the water level in the well rises and exceeds the float, the controller starts the recovery time countdown. After the countdown ends, the well light goes out and the pump restarts. Solar screw pump. Well, water shortage protection recovery time introduction. Step 1. Put the controller in the off state. Press the set button. Enter the password C88. Press the Enter button to enter the Setup menu. Step 2. Press the Enter button to enter the next item. Until the power light flashes, the well light is on, and the screen displays DEF. This item is the well water shortage protection recovery time. Unit is seconds. The default is DEF. The recovery time increases from 30 seconds, 15 minutes, 1 hour, 6 hours, 12 hours. Customers can press the up or down button to modify the set value according to actual water usage conditions. Step 3. After the parameters are modified, press the Enter button to confirm. Then press the Set button until the screen displays off to exit the setting menu. Solar Screw Pump. Water Tank Full Protection Introduction. Step 1. Press the On button to run the pump. When the water level in the water tank is lower than the float, the float falls, and the pump works normally. When the water level in the water tank rises and is higher than the float, the float rises. Tank light turns on. The screen displays fault code E13. The pump stops working. The screen cyclically displays the fault code E13 voltage, and recovery time. When the water level in the water tank drops and the float falls, the controller starts the recovery time countdown. After the countdown ends, the tank light goes out and the pump restarts. Solar Screw Pump Water Tank Full Protection Recovery Time Introduction Step 1. Put the controller in the off state. Press the Set button. Enter the password C88. Press the Enter button to enter the Setup menu. Step 2. 
Step 2. Press the Enter button to enter the next item. Until the power light flashes, the tank light is always on, and the screen displays the number 0300. The default value is 300 seconds. Customers can press the up or down button to modify the set value according to actual water usage conditions. Step 3. After the parameters are modified, press the Enter button to confirm. Then press the Set button until the screen displays off to exit the setting menu. Solar Screw Pump Dry Running Protection Factor Introduction Step 1. Put the controller in the off state. Press the set button. Enter the password C88. Press the enter button to enter the setup menu. Step 2. Press the enter button to enter the next item. until the power light flashes and the screen displays L5. This item is the dry running protection factor. The solar screw pump is turned off by default. Other pumps are L5. Adjustable range L off to L20. Customers can press the up or down button to modify the set value according to actual water usage conditions. If the protection fails, increase the value. If there is a false alarm, lower the value. After the parameters are modified, press the Enter button to confirm. Then press the set button until the screen displays off to exit the setting menu. Solar screw pump. Water tank float logic introduction. Step 1. Put the controller in the off state. Press the set button. Enter the password C88. Press the Enter button to enter the setup menu. Step 2. Press the Enter button to enter the next item. Until the power light flashes, and the screen displays S0. Customers can press the up or down button to modify the set value according to actual water usage conditions. After the parameters are modified, press the enter button to confirm. Then press the set button until the screen displays off to exit the setting menu. Solar Screw Pump Max Working Speed Setting Step 1. Press the ON button to run the pump. During the operation of the pump, you can press the IP or DOWN button to modify the max speed of the pump in real time. But the setting will not be remembered after power off and restart. 
Step 2. Put the controller in the off state. Press the set button. Enter the password C88. Press the enter button to enter the setup menu. Step 3. After entering the menu, the first item is the max working speed setting. The power light flashes, the MPPT light, and RPM light are always on, and the screen displays 4000. Customers can press the up or down button to modify the max working speed according to actual application conditions. Step 4. After the parameters are modified, press the Enter button to confirm. Then press the Set button until the screen displays off to exit the setting menu. This setting has a memory function when the power is turned off and restarted. Solar screw pump, fault code causes and solutions.